Dan Halley, who's got some tips on parental controls and setting that up with the new PlayStation 5. But I'll bet you anything that those kids out there, there's a 12 and 13 year old who are going to figure out how to get past those parental controls. Yeah, this is uh, something that I, I felt like a personal betrayal uh, trying to put this together because as a kid who grew up with a, you know, a NES or a Sega Genesis, I always played without my parents necessarily knowing that I was playing at certain hours. So uh, it does feel odd. But if you're getting a, a PlayStation 5 for your kid uh, and you want to make sure that they don't spend all their time playing it, you can set up these parental controls. And the first thing you have to do is make sure that you are the primary account on that PlayStation. That's the main thing to do. Once you do that, you're going to have to download the PlayStation app for iOS or Android. It's available on both, so it's not a big deal. Uh, log into the account that you set up uh, in the app, uh, and then in the top right corner of the screen, you're going to want to press the settings button. And from there, you'll be able to find something called family management. To select that, uh, you'll need to go into uh, your password, enter that again. You're going to have to do this a million times, uh, and then tap set up now. Uh, from there, it'll take you basically to your Chrome browser for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't keep you in the app, but that's what Sony decided to do. Uh, and you'll select add a child uh, from the add family member page. You'll then enter their name. So this is going to basically set up uh, whether or not they're allowed to do things uh, you know, above 13, below 13, things along those lines. Then, oddly enough, I know this is going to sound strange, but you're going to have to enter your credit card information so that they can charge you 50 cents. Uh, the 50 cents is basically to verify that you're an adult, you have a credit card, you have a debit card, whatever. But it is kind of weird. Just do it. Uh, it's not a scam or anything. Uh, once you're verifying that, you're going to have to enter your password yet again. Now, you're finally up to the point where you can set up your kid's account. So what you're going to do is uh, enter an email and a password for them. Uh, that's going to set up their account on their own. So it's going to be separate from the one that you originally set up. Uh, then you're going to be able to go to the parental controls page. And this is where you get to get into the real nitty gritty. You'll be able to do things like set age level restrictions uh, for PS5, PS4, and PS3 games. Uh, you'll be able to set age levels for Blu-ray and DVDs. Uh, you can allow PlayStation VR or uh, you can allow the web browser or not. You can also restrict communications and user-generated content. So that's uh, whether or not they can talk to or make new friends uh, on the PlayStation Network. Obviously, gaming is very social now. Uh, it's not, you know, the sit at home by yourself. It's, you know, have your headset on and talk to people from around the world. If you don't want your kid doing that because they're simply too young, you're able to cut that off here. And then this is the one that really cuts me to the core is setting time limits on how much your kid can play. You can set uh, monthly limits uh, on what they're allowed to do. You can set time limits on how long they're able to play. Uh, you know, this way, maybe after they're done with school, they get an hour to play or they have a few hours on the weekend, something along those lines. I'm sorry, kids, that I did that, uh, but I'm 35 and I can play as many hours as I want now. So it's on you. And that's basically all you're going to need to do to make sure your kid does not spend all their time in front of their PlayStation 5.